Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Y'all can read the title of this episode, Massacre. Except it's not in Texas, and it ain't involving no chainsaw. As far as we know, I mean, I don't know. Eins may whip out a chainsaw and just be like, I always wanted to do this. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. So, rip and tear plays in the back. Yeah, rip and tear. Uh, the only thing they fear is you. You know, just Mick Gordon. Mick Gordon plays in the background. Overlord. We are very rapidly approaching the end of season three, which will we will then be going into probably season four. Twenty twenty. I could have sworn when we started watching this, there were only three seasons out. Guess not. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. Anyway, we have uh, the episode queued up here, Massacre. Let's go ahead and uh, get this up on screen. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Ichigeki desu sen. Ia, 2,000 wa koroseru hodo no kyoudai na mahou wo tsukaeru hazu da. Mahou ichigeki de 3,000 desu ka? Fukarou desu! Densetsu no majin. This is gonna get ugly. <laughs> Good job jinxing yourself, bro. All those death knights. Jesus. Uh oh. Oh no. This is. He's about to nuke everybody. My question is, is he actually going to nuke the kingdom, or is he going to turn around and nuke the empire? I think it would just be crazy if he just turned to 180 when he was casting the spell and nuked all of the empire soldiers behind him. And then walked up to the other side and was just like, yeah, they were planning shit against me, so. What y'all think about leaving me the fuck alone? Uh-oh. Uh oh, dude, that, uh. He, he literally just used a Lovecraftian name. Oh! Just drop dead. You say, if you've ever wondered what the touch of death looks like. There you go. Oh. Everybody that just dropped down is about to come back. Or not. Oh. oh. Oh, something no. worse. Well, 70,000 sacrifice, that's quite the sacrifice to the little sky. Imagine, like, is he gonna summon, like, an eldritch, eldritch god? When he cast that spell, said a name from Lovecraft. Shobnigaroth. Shobnigaroth. Which might not be pronounced like that, but I refuse to pronounce it the way he might have intended it to be pronounced. Hajimarida. Yeah. There it is. It looks kind of eldritch. Oh, 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 That's a... It's a Shogoth, but instead of eyes, it's got mouths. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's multiple. Holy crap. <laughs> well, they, they, okay, don't kill those four people. Good luck, everybody else. I'm curious about something because I can't remember. She's often associated with the phrase the black goat of the woods with a thousand young. Well, she is making goat like the monsters in this are making goat sounds. Mm-hmm. So they, they literally are using like the Eldritch. actual Lovecraftian entity in this. <laughs> oh my god. That's pretty cool. That is pretty bitchin', not gonna lie. <laughs> More like a nightmare, dude. No. You <laughs> made 
Question, where are we supposed to stab it? In the toe? It's, this is, oh. The CG on the people, I think, is where this show really kind of fumbles a little bit. Yeah. Looks having kinda the janky. people be CG looks pretty janky. Well, yeah. When you compare it to, like, MAPPA and how they were able to have, like, huge crowds of people, like, being huge crowds of people in the final season of Attack on Titan. I'm not going to say what happens. <laughs> And they're all dead. It's a massacre. The reveal. He's gonna yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering for a second if anybody was actually gonna do it. I wait for the applause. Uh oh. Hurrah! <laughs> oh my god. あの中に突撃して踏み潰されたら、うちの分も私が働くとしよう。私を置いて逃げて良いのだぞ。何を戯れよう。てか。ご縁のものは何もないか。良い。行くとしよう。そしてはお気に入りの小僧に<笑> <こういうのものは何もないか。笑> <笑> この国で最も美人なお姫様をお嫁にやってもらうことです。努力はしよう。これで絶対に生きて帰らないといけなくなったな、クライム君。Wish you knew what you were doing to him, homie. Exactly, because you're basically subjecting him to the whims of a psychopath. Uh-oh. ヤザ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ
there was the party that was killed by the uh, necromancer and his undead early on. Oh in yeah. The series, you know, it's like that whole thing where like at least her story came back up later on, but like it was still sad to see like her quest come to an end so early and such like that. Hmm. That, like, I'm fully expecting at some point that, like, most of these characters that we're kind of liking on the human side of things could end up killed or worse, potentially, you know? <laughs> yeah. I get what you're saying. Uh, well, I got nothing else for this, man. I mean, honestly, Stranoff's gonna die. I mean, as far as we know now, he's going to die. So, anyway... Eight. Oh, another implication is what if Climb and uh, I forgot his name, purple haired guy. What if they step in? Oh, Climb and uh, Brain. Yeah, Brain. What if they step in? Then they're gonna die too. And what would be the implications of that if Sebas finds out about it? Because I don't think he would want that to happen. Yeah, I guess I. Not sure though. Yeah, there's no telling. Anyway, once again, everyone, this was episode 12 of season 3 of Overlord. This was Massacre, and uh, yeah, quite living up to the title of it. I mean, this was a one-sided massacre, and honestly, that's just that's how I partly expected this to go. So, With anyway. The hands of an under-utilized uh, Lovecraftian entity, no less. Yes. Well, anyway... That's going to do it, so thank you all very much for tuning in. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.